I got run over this morning feeding them, actually. Really? Yeah. One, one between my legs, and I got 30 pounds of feed in my hand. Over in that pen. Knock you down? Yeah. This will stop that. You ready? You want to do the intro? Yeah. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Bodar Kika Goats. I'm Josh. And I'm Brody. We got Cason, Joe, and Maddox here. And uh, we are taking advantage of these kids being out of school and we are going to finally clean this up. You guys can see behind me, Joe's pieced anything you can think of that he thought might hold a goat. And uh, we are gonna clean this up and finally install those fence line feeders. I'm gonna bring you guys along, get a new look at these feeders. We're gonna make this look nice and neat. Uh, like I said, the kids are out of school on Christmas break. And uh, we're going to take advantage of that and get their good help. So uh, we're starting to take stuff off. I mean, Joe's even got a ladder. I don't know. Maybe it hold a goat. But we're going to make this nice. We're going to make it look good. And I'm going to get it on video for you guys. So I appreciate you watching. If you're not subscribed, guys, go down. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and follow us. Don't miss another video. We really appreciate it. Are you, what are you Hands out of your pockets and just get busy working. I'll get that tractor over here and we'll put all these pallets and stack them up. Here's some heavy pallets. Teamwork. That looks like it. Yeah, you can find your tractor. Can you tell them what we're doing? Show the fence how much. Show them how much we've cleaned out. Oh, wait, Dad, this is right here. And that. Me, flipper. When working on a fence and cutting, these are the way to go. Good buddy of mine at Addison Ranch, he showed me these Kipnix pliers. They make cutting easy. Oh, who's got these big pliers? All right, you guys can see we got all that mess cleaned out, and uh, it looks much better. So now we're gonna braid these fence line feeders up and put one right here, and then we're gonna put another one over here and put a panel in between and uh, that'll make feeding much easier on Joe, make it uh, less congestion and it looks better. 
So these boys are helping us. We're getting a lot, quite a bit done. And then let's bring it over here. What do you want it here? On the inside. Come back on this side? Yep. Yeah. That means you gotta go through one of these. Yeah, go that way. They're pretty heavy. Yeah. Made in Dodge City. Yeah. It is heavy. Let's go, Casey. Uh, no, we gotta get it up here closer. Let's see. We're gonna probably go. have to take this post out right here. Alright. Yeah. Let's go up here all the way. I'll go get a chain. Let's see. Yeah. All right, so we have the feeders installed, and now we just gotta wire them up to the post and put a panel in between here and uh, and they will be installed. All we gotta do is just get this piece together. This looks a thousand times better. It'll make so much easier feeding. This is Maddox. Are you shy? No. You just quiet? Yeah. All right. You've been helping? Have you yeah. been helping? Yeah. Yeah, you've been doing a good job. Yeah. You walk all out? Come over through here. All the way through here, Maddox. Maddox, nice. you gotta go through it. Come on. Walk. Yeah, go there around. There you go. Put it up against the... Do some brain socks. All the way up against it. Is that where you want it? Yeah. We're going to have to cut some, there. though. I think we're going to have to put a T-post right here. All right. Go get the straightest T-post. And then, uh... Over there. A good straight one. That sounds like a little old lady hitting that thing. <laughs> Look pretty good, Josh. Little, about high, high. little more, about, about two more inches. Make it level with this. I mean, just do it one more. I think that'll, that'll be just fine. That'll be just fine. All right. I should have seen this when we see that fence going over that hill. Yeah. Y'all in the T-post? Yeah. We'll put them in. All right, so we're nearing the completion 
of our fence line feeders. We have uh, got everything hooked up. Joe's tying the last panel up and it's really turned out pretty nice. What do you think about it? Really, I think it's really nice. Something I'd kind of kind of dreamed about this one day. I'd have a <laughs> fence line feeder, so I got run over this morning feeding them. Actually, really, yeah. M one between my legs, and I got thirty pounds of feed in my hand. Over we'll that pen. Knock you down. Yeah. This will stop that. So it is. Well, you can see we got this together. We're going to demonstrate it for you guys. This has come together really well. Took a lot, little bit of time, a little bit of work, a little bit of help, and uh, it turned out really nice. So the concept is to pour your feet out right here. Since the kids have been out, like I said earlier, They've really been helping us a bunch. Uh, we got all the doughs worked, and then we went through here and made this whole pasture. We got hot wire installed in this whole paddock, so uh, we're not gonna be having any more problems with heads getting stuck in the fence. And we've got this side done right here we have this whole backside over here done so all we really like is doing the back over there and then this middle section and uh, we'll have this whole side hot wired that really helps out with not tearing up fences helps our dogs and uh, we really like knowing that we got these perimeters secured by hot wire All right, they're gonna go out and get the goats. We're gonna try to demonstrate how this works. Hopefully all goes well. Brody, come up here so you can pour the feed out up here. When they get up here, Brody, I'll get you on film pouring it out like it's supposed to be. Hey, get ready. Pick it up by the handle, handle and the, and the back part of it. I can't get them all. I'll, that'll work, just so we can demonstrate. Hold on, bro. Start pouring it out. Not all ever see it. it Fill them up, Brody. What? Go ahead, keep going. 
find it. Yeah. Something, something, something new to. The horns won't let them. No, but they can get their nose in there. Yeah, get that nose in there. I'd say it's working pretty good. That's what that's what we want. We want to be able to let these doughs spread this out and eat, pour it out over here. You can't get run over. That's a success. Well, what are your thoughts on the, how the feeders work? Well, I like it. It's a lot safer. That's the main thing is the safety part of it. Yeah, you because ain't gonna get hurt. Because you can get run over by them. Real easy. Another good thing, I mean, this very minimal waste, the way we got this built, they're not wasting anything. You can see that they're cleaning it all up. They're getting it all up. They're taking all that feed. I want you guys to check out how heavy bred some of these does are. We're just, we looked at the calendar the other day. We're right at January the 12th dropping kids. But uh, right now is the time you want to give these does the best nutrition you can give them. You want those kids coming out good and healthy. And here's a couple of them right now that are just extremely heavy bred. Those two right there, I think are gonna be first. That's Portia. I think she's gonna kid first. She might have triplets in her. All right, guys, our job here is done. One more project done. Uh, we've been working about three hours a day, just taking our time, getting it done right, making things nice and neat. And uh, it, this project turned out really nice from the beginning, the kids putting it together and working on it. And then now we put them installed. Joe can use them. And uh, we really like how it turned out. You like it? Yes. All right, we're going to end this video. We appreciate you guys watching. Tell them what to do. They need to go. Y'all need to go subscribe, like, and thank you for watching. Yes, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.